So good morning and welcome to the Sunday morning edition of Google How To. Uh, this morning I want to come back to Google Groups. Uh, and just a reminder, a Google Group is in many ways an advanced contact list where everyone in the group can share a uh, email address. Uh, when an email is sent to that group, it's, the email is distributed to everyone in the group and the email and the uh, string, the conversation string, stays in the group like a conversation within a conference. Uh, to get to Google Groups, you click on the Google Apps button, which is, it looks like a little keyboard, and then click on Groups. Once you do, a new tab will open up that looks like this. Now immediately you're maybe asking yourself, well, where are the groups? Notice that I have under Favorites a number of groups um, I could click on my groups. These are groups which I have created or which I have been made a member of. Um, going back, so I can click on the groups to go back, I can browse all. Now these are groups in Westminster Tools which have been created and which uh, have been uh, kept in the directory for people to find. So there is a lot of groups out there now um, and in looking at a couple of them I think that Everyone who's created a group should go back this morning and look very quickly at the permissions for the group uh, and consider uh, who is using it and how you want it to uh, appear. So let's go to uh, Millikan Dorm Faculty, for instance. So Millikan Dorm Faculty is created for Millikan Dorm Faculty to discuss topics and, and so forth. And uh, if you are the owner of the group, or the uh, administrator of Westminster Tools, you should be able to see a Manage button uh, here when you go into a group on the right side. Clicking on the Manage button brings us into the Management Administration part of the group. You can immediately see who the members are. Paul Kendall is the owner. Uh, and then a number of control um, links are on the left sidebar. There's two that I want to look at this morning and ask you to go to for any group that you've created. Basic permissions. So let's just take a look at how this is set up. Uh, and Paul, I did actually do a little changing here, but um, view topics. Okay, so we have uh, who can view topics. Now, by default, all organization members are able to view topics. So that means everyone at Westminster School, uh, students, faculty, staff can view topics. They can go into Google Groups, they can click on it, and they can see what is being uh, said. So they are able to view topics. Also by default, everyone's able to post to the group. And finally, by default, anyone in the organization is able to join the group. So they can just click on it and join it. Remember, Google is predicated on an open access to information, and that's the way they do their groups. So I think for most of the groups that are set up, that is not how you want them to appear. So for instance, for dorm faculty, almost definitely we do not want all organization members to view topics. Now posting we may consider and say, well, it's okay if uh, someone else posts to the Millican dorm faculty, they can't read it or read any of the topics, but um, they can certainly post it to that group. Joining the group, uh, we don't want anyone to be able to join just invited members. Um, there's the other option of anyone in the organization can ask, um, but in this case, I think we limit it to the people who uh, Paul has decided should be part of this group. Um, you can see that you can also allow people outside Westminster School if you make it a public group. Um, down on the left sidebar again, under the Information tab, I want to look at something called Directory. Oh, that's right, you have to save before you leave. So directory, um, list this group in the directory. That means when I go to browse all, um, I would find it uh, and be able to know that it's there. Now again, the way we've set it, it might be okay to list it in the directory that will tell people that it exists, um, but they can't view topics, but they can post to it. Um, so maybe it's okay to leave it in the directory uh, in this case. Uh, again, let the owner of groups um, decide what they want to do uh, with that setting, but please consider uh, who your group is for, who you want to have view topics, and who you want to post to that group. Thank you.